So the first thing we'll do today is we're going to connect our Pico board to Scratch. And in order to use the Pico board with Scratch, we have to um, add some extra special blocks. Um, this is Scratch 2, which is different from the version we were using last year. So there are a few little differences here. But try and find your way around with the colors, and um, you'll find after a while it's quite easy. So we have to go to More Blocks. And we have to click here where it says add an extension. We have two options, Pico board or Lego we do. We are using the Pico board. So double click here and you get these extra blocks here. You should see on your Pico board that the red and green lights start flashing continuously. And this little green circle here tells us that the Pico board is connected and the program is communicating with it. So connect your Pico board, add the extension and ensure that this green light is on. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start interacting with Scratch via the Pico board. And we're going to use the yellow button on the Pico board. Um, so as you might guess, the block we need is when button pressed. And we can make anything we want happen when this button is pressed. Um, I'm going to make a sound and we're going to go for the good old meow. So when the button pressed, play sound meow. So let's give that a try. Okay. Okay, so now we've done that, we can lose these blocks here. And your main task for today is we're going to be using the um, light sensor on the Pico board, which I've already explained to you in class. It's a light dependent resistor. And all that does is tell us how much light the Pico board can see. And we're going to make an alarm clock that makes a sound when it gets light. So in order to do this, we need to see what the light sensor is doing. And to do that, we need to create something called a variable. And a variable, as you might remember from last year, is a piece of memory in the computer where we can store something. So in this case, we want to see what the light sensor is giving us. So let's say we'll call this variable light. Click OK. So we can take this, set the light to, and we don't want to set it to zero because that won't tell us anything. But what we do want to set it to is the light sensor reading. So we can go here where it says sensor value and we can choose any of these but obviously we want to choose the light and you can drag it over here. So now it says set light to the light sensor value. So that means that whatever the light sensor sees will appear in this box here. So let's give it a go. Nothing happened, obviously. So we need two more blocks. First, we have to click uh, when the green flag clicked. So let's try that now. Okay, so the light changed to two. Um, but I'm going to shine a torch on there now and um, the light sensor didn't change at all. So what do we need to do? We need to make it so that it's constantly changing the number depending on what the light sensor sees. So let's use this forever block. Now let's try it. Okay, it still says two and let's shine a light on there. And you can see it's going up to four, five, three, etc. Okay. So now it's giving us a live feed of what the light sensor is seeing. So your next task is to copy this code here. And that will give you your light sensor reading. Do that now, please.
Okay, so your project today is we're going to use this light sensor to create an alarm clock that makes a noise when it becomes light. So we leave this here because we need it for the moment. And I want you guys to think about how you can do this. I'll give you a clue of some blocks that you'll need. You'll need, when the green flag clicked, you're going to need um, the greater than or less than signs, depending on how you want to do it. We want to use the if, the forever if. And we want to use the play sound block. Now, you don't have to have it as a meow. <laughs> if you want to, you can record quietly your own greeting to wake you up um, when it gets light. So the way we do it in Scratch 2 is a little bit different. You can go here, it says um, recording one, you can press the record button and that will record some sounds. You can say good morning or cock doodle doo or something like that if you want. Make sure it works. You can um, change the end or the beginning of it as well. You can go like this to cut out this noise here. Go like this and now play. Okay, and then go back to the script and you can choose that there, recording one. We should name that, so let's change the name. Recording one. Alarm. So give it a go and see if you can make an alarm clock that automatically makes a sound when it gets light.